Stem cells can transform themselves into any type of cell in the human body. That makes them fascinating for us researchers. In 2013, Jürgen Knoblich, molecular biologist and deputy director of the IMBA in Vienna, succeeded in coaxing stem cells to grow into a mini brain. This cerebral organoid can be used to investigate aspects of early human brain development up to around the 16th week of pregnancy. These are exciting times for his team of researchers. Organoids provide a new platform for conducting research on the development of the human brain, to test drugs, and to understand neuropsychiatric diseases. Stem cell researchers are intensively discussing methods to better understand the organoids. They need to create techniques to ensure the organoids always develop in the same way in order to make their research findings comparable. The three-dimensional brain tissue is created in an incubator. The trick here is that the organoids develop in mini bioreactors that are shaken or spun. The space, the movement and the ingredients in the solution allow the cells to differentiate in all directions as three-dimensional tissue. In this process, the stem cells develop into an embryoid body that could theoretically develop into all types of human cells. Specific molecules, so-called factors, give the signal for the pluripotent cells in this body to develop into brain cells. The differentiation into neural cells starts by these cells migrating to the exterior of the organoid. A mature brain organoid includes a so-called ventricular zone containing progenitor cells, younger neurons, and more mature neural cells. However, the different areas of the brain are jumbled. They do not grow in the structured way they do in humans, but are chaotically arranged. In a human brain, the different parts are structured in a very orderly way. There's the left half, the right, the front, the back. In an organoid, these parts are all there, but they're randomly organized, a bit like this. And that's not the only difference between the mini-brain organoids and a mature brain. The organoid also does not have a blood supply system. As soon as it reaches around 4 millimeters in size, the inner cells start dying off as they are cut off from the external supply. Only an embryonic stage brain develops, which is still a long way off from a mature organ. It is a self-organizing clump of cells, but one that harbors huge potential for biomedical research. I think we'll see remarkable breakthroughs in stem cell therapy over the next few years, particularly in the treatment of neurodegenerative diseases. The first clinical trials are already underway to treat diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's with nerve cells produced from stem cells. At present, the cells used here are produced in a conventional 2D culture. The organoids mean we can now produce these cells in three-dimensional form. And this is a huge step forward as it allows the cells to develop in their natural environment, surrounded on all sides by other nerve cells, and so it works much better. Thank you.